man. Well, uh, rain, rain umbrella might be helpful uh, come Black Friday, but yeah. Thanksgiving might be a little interesting. Yeah, it looks like it, it, the models have shifted now. With the heavier okay. rain down to our south, they're going back and forth, but I still think we're going to get some pretty good showers and even a few thunderstorms as well on Thanksgiving. Uh, we are looking at uh, some rain. We need the rain. We haven't had much at all. Had a few showers around uh, earlier today. Uh, mainly inland and out into the Gulf of Mexico. Well, look at this wonderful photo. Joe McClash up there in Manatee County, Holmes Beach, getting this one. And a uh, beautiful shot it was indeed. And then this one from uh, Venice, the uh, jetty's there. This is Sunset and Dolphins. This was labeled, this sent in to pics of mysuncoast.com. Uh, and Susanna getting this. A few clouds there and uh, just a sliver of the moon. And looks as though we'll see some clouds tomorrow too. Occasionally, a little bit more sunshine though expected on Wednesday. So that will uh, be a little bit nicer for folks heading to the beach. You saw the sun break uh, clear right around 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon, creating this gorgeous sunset. Uh, current conditions are right now up and down the coast, generally fair skies. Uh, we're looking at fair skies right now, 65 degrees in Sarasota. And uh, the airport now reporting the dew point at the same. That makes the humidity 100% and the pressure 29.93 inches right now. And uh, that is uh, holding steady. The high today was 77, so pretty close to average. This morning's low, that was uh, running a little bit above average. And the record low, 33, set back in 1914. As far as rainfall goes, we could use a little bit. We've only had four one hundredths of an inch, at least at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport. And that's well below average for the month, but typically we don't get much rainfall. But we can see that uh, changing, especially on Thursday and into early Friday. Well, temperatures across the state, this uh, low temperatures to start things off tomorrow morning will be in the upper 50s in places like Gainesville and Jacksonville. We'll be in the low 60s here along the Sun Coast for the most part. Could see some upper 50s like Mayaka as well as Arcadia and Parrish. Uh, and then we'll warm up. It should be a nice day, 79 degrees, a little bit more sunshine anticipated for us throughout the afternoon on Wednesday. Different story on Thursday. We'll definitely get the clouds uh, and there's a real good chance that we'll see showers and storms too on Thursday. Uh, carrying on into Friday morning for the most part. Now, as far as the overall forecast goes for us, uh, the storm system itself still gathering well to the west. Now, there's a little piece of energy out there in the Gulf, and it's going to try to get close but not have much success. On Wednesday, it looks to be partly cloudy to partly sunny at times. Uh, and then uh, some inland showers, not out of the question. You can see some of that activity there showing up. This is the area we'll watch very closely. As I mentioned, that this model it depicts the rain moving on into Thursday with the heaviest showers down to our south. But uh, earlier today, it had it going right over the top of us. So this may be going back and forth. I don't think we're not going to. We're, we're, I, I do think we're going to see some showers here and some thunderstorms, uh, but maybe not as widespread as this model is depicting. But it continues to hang on. Uh, right through a Friday morning as another little piece of energy moves in uh, from the Gulf. It should clear out of here, though, by late Friday afternoon and make for a decent weekend. We are anticipating a real nice weekend. A close-up look of the future cast revealing just a few clouds around to start the day off tomorrow. As far as thunderstorms go, there's a slight chance that we may see a few scattered storms on in through Thanksgiving and into Friday morning. Well, the satellite and radar imagery showing the storm that brought us the clouds earlier today now shifting off to the northeast and out west. That system continues to develop in the Gulf and the cold air is now making its way through the Great Lakes and the upper Mississippi Valley. That's where the Arctic blast is and the rain continues out west from California all the way to uh, Washington and Oregon. Well, there it is. Eight degrees in Minot. It's 20 in Minneapolis, 29 in Chicago. This cold air is spreading basically to the east, not so much to the south. We will see some slightly cooler temperatures here uh, come Monday, but not extreme at all. Temperatures will stay just a little bit below average on Mondays. You see all those deep purples and blues uh, heading off basically to the east and northeast as opposed to the south. For boaters tomorrow, looking pretty good. We'll have east winds uh, turning to the north at 5 to 10 knots. A light chop out there in the bays and in the waters. The water temperature starting to cool, but still fairly mild at 72 degrees. And the tides upcoming for Sarasota Bay. The next low tide will be at 929 in the morning. The forecast partly cloudy, a slight chance for a shower or two overnight, 62 for your low and a little bit of fog forming. Tomorrow the fog burns off, revealing partly sunny skies, 79 for your high and just a 20% chance for showers. And then that rain chance really bumping up on Thanksgiving, 70% and even showers overnight on Thursday night, Friday morning. Clearing for the weekend though, looking good uh, for Saturday and Sunday.